Omori was originally a comic called Omori Boy. At the hidden lake in Faraway Town, there are six pinwheels having colors corresponding to each of the main characters. In the present, the green and purple pinwheels are separated, alluding to Basil being withdrawn and Mari being deceased. Kel drew a sprout wall on his desk at school. This is evident by interacting with Kel's desk in Looping Forest. When interacting with the fourth top right tombstone in the Faraway Town graveyard, you can hear the Dongo Dai Kazoku melody from the 2007 anime Clanad. Faraway Town was originally meant to more readily use the emotion mechanics. There are several unused sprites of the hooligans with different emotions. When defeated, Team Carnivore will either drop jam packets, confetti, a rain cloud, or an air horn depending on if it's neutral, happy, sad, or angry respectively. The loquacious cat in black space will give you a random answer regardless of what you ask. There's an unused weapon for Aubrey called Hero's Trophy that makes Hero sad when equipped, regardless of any charm he is wearing. In the Pinwheel Forest break time event, after defeating Kite Kid, Hell's Kite resembles Orange Joe. Nose, Bun, Bang, Brows, and Happy are all based on Sunny's old stuffed animals in the real world. You have about a 2 in 15 chance to beat One Wing Jash. Sally is the youngest faraway character in the game. There's unused dialogue in Maverick's house, specifically in the twins' room, where a bookshelf would say the only thing that is not perfectly symmetrical in this room. Daphne and Bowen ranked first place in a national baking championship. Wasps have an unused move called Sting that would deal 25% of a character's current health points. Ginger Dead Man and Toast Ghost can only be encountered in the Arrow Cave of Orange Oasis. Sweetheart's Castle was originally going to be a completely optional area, but the developers liked her theme so much that they made it required. Amori can make a sandcastle of Earth. Amori describes the Earth's surface as containing mostly water and people. This means that Amori and his friends kill 8 billion people when they defeat the Earth. There's an unused set of cutscenes leading up to the empty house to go to black space. These cutscenes would include the party disappearing one by one. When it's night, standing at the edge of the pier at Secret Lake causes Sunny to remember the feeling of falling into the water. Michael's headspace counterpart is Gibbs. The location of Sunny and Basil's rooms in the hospital lines up with their houses in Faraway Town. Chimera Keychain is an obtainable Faraway Town charm that increases luck by 5. This is the only other equipable in the real world that increases stats besides the seashell necklace. When outside in the real world, the flowers in Headspace decay faster. The F key is the only incorrect key in Headspace that cannot be skipped. The guy cutting down the tree in the 11th Pain Manhole is most likely Sonny's dad. This is supported by the fact that the figure is named Dad in the game's files. If you don't pick up Blender or Heartstring in Marina Sector in Humphrey before Experiment 667 is killed, Humphrey eats those melons and you can no longer get that weapon or charm. The cell phone charm in Headspace is a Nokia 3310. In the 2018 Kickstarter demo, there is a watermelon that contains a snack called a winter melon that recovers 50 HP. Hero's real name is Henry. Hero as a character is mostly related to Omocat's IRL brother, describing him as smart, responsible, and always at the top of his class. Sunny is immune to the happy emotion status. The developers of Amori originally planned for you to be able to choose Sunny's gender between male and female. This was scrapped due to it taking too much. If you go outside with Kel, then choose not to go back outside on the second day, you'll find that the photo album photos have been scribbled in black marker on one day left. If you have not refused to give the pool noodle to Burly, interacting with any club sandwich door makes the unequipped pool noodle disappear forever. The event that causes Basil's plants to decay is called FU Plants in the game's files. After completing TV Girl's quest, you can continually obtain coffee by interacting with the coffee machine every 20 screen transitions. The name of the sprout moles that the party wear in Sweetheart's Castle are Jim, Linda, Sal, and Jeffrey. Before version 1.0.5, Abby's eye made the wearer invulnerable at 1 HP, but it was patched because it made Amori invincible. 
Mari got Miwo around the month of July. If your WTF value is 13, the strangers helping Sunny and his mom move away will become dark, transparent figures with white eyes, similar to how Stranger looks in Black Space. The creepy guy in Faraway Town's name is Tucker, and he is apparently a major in philosophy. The pepper spray in Faraway Town is affected by Sunny's focus skill, meaning it can deal 1250 damage. Winning at the Sprout Mole Eater game is nearly impossible because you need to collect 55 Sprout Moles with only 42 blocks for moving. There is no mailbox in the game that sells the granola bar item. All of Roboheart's dialogue is spoken in Base 64, and it is decodable. When you do this, you'll actually find out that Roboheart is rather nice and never wanted to initiate a fight with the party. Some of the Wise Rock's advice foreshadows plot points of the story. In the Static Void Blackspace map, there's a scene of glitching Headspace NPCs being turned into Mercies. This is the horrific outcome of those who stay in Blackspace too long. When you meet Mari in the Northern Lake, she'll complain if you start running because of her bad knee. You'll then be unable to run for a while. Aubrey's favorite food is watermelon. Aubrey was originally named Aubergine in the Scrapped Amori manga. Her psychopath and Jackson are the only faraway town enemies that drop an item on defeat. The boring room created by Sunny's mind shows up in a painting the artist creates. Throwing coins into the faraway town fountain will cause a dollar bill to appear somewhere on the map. There is one coin for each of the days and evenings, however, one of the dollar bills mistakenly doesn't spawn. Here's an image of where all the dollar bills spawn, and where the other one is supposed to spawn on the morning of three days left. In Headspace, throwing clams into Sweetheart's Fountain will cause a pearl to appear somewhere in the castle. This can be repeated several times. Here's an image of where all the pearls spawn. The dialogue, despite all my rage, I am still just a mole in a cage, said by one of the student moles is a reference to the song Bullet with Butterfly Wings by the Smashing Pumpkins. Nefarious Chip, Unbred Twins, and Snaily 3 share the same battle background. Biscuit has an unused animation where he covers his eyes. The first phase of Humphrey will always end after 5 turns or until you've dealt over 9,000 damage. Pretty Boy is an original character from Oum Cat's 2012 comic of the same name. If you give meat to Kel's dad in the evening of one day left, we'll cook them and give you four hamburgers. Pet rocks are likely based off of Tomogachi, small virtual pets introduced in 1996. Becoming the best is a reference to Pokemon, and the game you play is just rock, paper, scissors. When inspecting beds in Faraway Town, Sunny will rate them based on how comfortable they are. Wafts are the only enemies in the game that can actually dodge a character's attack. There's an unused headspace charm called Oven Mitts that will increase health by 30 and defense by 13. The appendix charm doing nothing is a reference to how the appendix in the human body has no function, despite the fact that the portrait of the item shows the entire large intestine. The lamb character in Headspace was originally meant to be a battle according to early developmental art. Headspace Kel's favorite drink is milk, but his world self hates drinking it. Milk was originally a toy item that inflicted a party member with sad, along with a flavor text that reads, careful not to spill. There's a nighttime version of the other Mart map that is seemingly a black space map as well. Aubrey's birthday lands on the 143rd day of the year, likely as a reference to the I love you quote from Mari. Brent, Joy, and Jesse all seem to resemble brows happy and bangs. The memories in Memory Lane are in order from most recent to least recent, besides the rainy day memory. You can kick the beach ball into the ocean in the beach memory. There's an unused single Humphrey enemy, presumably fought on the trek up to the actual Humphrey boss fight after the slime girls are defeated. If you save Big Molio from falling in Medusa's sector, he'll save you from Experiment 667 at the end of the chase. If Amori does nothing in white space for two minutes, he'll sit down. Similarly, if Amori sits in an open spot without a plant in Raintown for a while, he'll turn into a potato. If you flood Raintown, you'll see the Veggie Kids turn into lilies as soon as the lever is turned. An NPC called Pellet will notice the pond getting murky on one day left, implying it was overtaken by Black Space. The Mary CD plays a song made by Toby Fox. The maximum amount of money Sony can collect in Faraway Town before the game ends is $689. The battle music for Jackson is called Boss underscore Jesse in the game's files. Jesse is the name of Headphones Kid, who was originally planned to be an enemy during the game's development. 
Tim and Vance are named after one of the illustrators and game testers for Amori, Kimberly Vance. During the prologue and Three Days Left segments, if Sonny wakes up in the middle of the night and leaves his room and re-enters, there's a 10% chance that a large stranger can appear, looming on the wall. The skeletons across Headspace that resemble the party are likely from previous iterations of Headspace that failed to get past their respective areas. In the 2018 Kickstarter demo, the flavor text for the baking pan was it's a piece of cake, it's like a pretty cake. gives Hero the skill snack time in battle when equipped. There's an animation of Amori playing the violin in the game's files. There are six Headspace side quests that aren't mentioned in game. Weak Wind, Recycle, Flip Him, Seasons, Stolen Clams, and Jash. Farmer Jim is a sea cow who handles sea cows. Huh. If you ride this raft in black space three more times after getting the key, you will enter the Weather Vane Island, one of the five primary black space 2 areas. There are three mysterious beta characters named Uni, Tak, and Medeo. These are characters who were previously intended to be in the game, but went mostly unused. They appear in Black Space only after the player has rescued Basil in the Hikiki Amori route. In Black Space's meat room, the faceless characters are referred to as mannequins, implying that these are the remnants from Amori's previous adventures before resetting Headspace. In Black Space's incubation map, the characters that seem to be sleeping in the wall are likely mass-produced versions of the Headspace friends, just in case the current ones die. In the Forest of Stumps Black Space map, if you stand at the edge of the abyss after picking up the key, for 143 seconds, you can enter the Black Space 2 water walkway area. In Black Space's Looping Black Field, there exists an unimplemented ladder to an unused map called Funny House. It's unknown if this being unimplemented is a bug or a cut content that was never removed. The music for Black Space was actually created before the maps, so Omocat could get a clear visual and imagery of what she wanted to do. In fact, Omocat is the one who created Black Space all on her own. In the Heads Looking Up Black Space map, there's a telephone that spawns a large speech bubble that will follow Amori. If you leave and come back, you can spawn another text bubble. There are a total of seven. In the Beach Black Space map, there's an NPC named Crab that can't wait to get a tan. If you wait 24 seconds, the island catches on fire and Crab starts dying. The hospital at the end of the game is contained within Black Space's folder of the game maps. All of that is really cool, but have you ever wondered what would happen if all the text in the game was randomized? 